The thing that makes opera special is that there is no desire to hide from an emotional expression. I want to differentiate that from what I would call sentimental. You know, some operas are sentimental, but some productions are sentimental. The form of opera, which is that it's theatrical, but it's, there's no pretense toward what you might call realistic. Somebody breaks out singing, that doesn't happen every day, particularly the way that they do it. It's a very direct path to the heart. It's basically saying, we are going to use this artistic format to express an emotional state of soul. That's beautiful. Has it influenced the films I've made? I guess it has because I've tried to do that. To me, movies are most like dreams. Sometimes uh, in the, the emotions in our dreams are difficult to deal with. The one thing that opera has on movies is that because there is no pretense towards being realistic, uh, we accept things that we would not accept in movies. We accept flights of fancy and we accept very naked expressions of emotion that in movies sometimes repel us. You can handle a downbeat ending in an opera. You can handle a downbeat ending in a book. It's much harder for an audience, I've noticed, to handle a downbeat ending in a movie because a movie is like a dream and when a dream ends unhappily, it's extremely upsetting to us. There's something so direct about its relationship to us. And in an opera, we have a certain measure of distance and in a book, you pick it up, you put it down, you pick it up, you put it down. Oh, Anna Karenina, she just jumped into a train. Put it down, pick it up, you know, go eat some hot dogs or whatever and then come back to the ending. I've sort of learned the hard way that you almost treat it like the dream that has to end in some way that is satisfying without being exploitative. And that's very different from opera. <laughs>